Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says, be careful. This is too good to be true. This person has a double identity. God says, be careful. This is too good to be true. This person has a double identity. This word is coming to someone. You met somebody and this person just seems to be perfect. They sweep you off your feet every time. They know just the right thing to say at every point in time. They know just the right action to take, the right step to take, the right words to say. They, they are just good, too good to be true. And sometimes you tell yourself, God, does this kind of person truly exist? They are too good to be true. Before you need them, they are, they, they are, they are present. Before you call on them, they have answered. They are, they are like God. Before you are in need, they are there. God says, be careful. Be careful. This person has a double identity. Now, it's not everyone that is, that is good that has a double identity. This is the confirmation to let you know that this person is the one. Before they got to meet you, it seemed like they made an investigation about you. They seem to know you so well, especially when it comes to your investment, your finances. They know well what you do. They know well your career, your businesses. They, they seem to have made a good investigation about you. They are in your life for a purpose. Indeed, they are too good to be true. Another confirmation is that they got into your life and as they are being good to you, they are having opportunities for investment. They need money. They need your support. They need your help. And they are not saying it openly to you. But that is one of the reasons why they are in your life. They are too good to be true. Be careful. Am I saying you end the relationship? No. I'm saying do not get into a certain kind of commitment. Don't take a loan to help them sponsor a project. Don't recommend them to, 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 to someone that is valuable to you. Don't feed them in a place. No, put them through a test. Give them time until you are truly sure that they are trustworthy. And the spirit of God bears witness with your spirit that they are trustworthy. Only then can you get into certain commitments with them. Apart from that, anything they ask you, praise God, pray for them. If they ask for financial support, tell them you don't have money. Pray for God to make provision. Don't enter into risky deals with them. You might end up crying. God bless you. Shalom.